Welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. And I've uh, braved coming out here on on the somewhat frozen wildcat a little bit, not far, but I have coming out. I kind of came out here a little bit. I want to show you this area. And there's a reason I want to show this area to you right now. Now, like I said, it's uh, mid-February. There's tracks here, all kinds of nice little critters. But uh, it's mid-February right now. And right now, this is a pretty desolate area. Um, I've seen very few tracks. There's almost nothing walking around in the woods here. And uh, compared to the other areas I was at, there's really nothing out here on the on the on the creek either and there's one or two old tracks but there's nothing really new anyway i want to show this area to you because in about another month the geese will be here and they'll be laying and this place will be packed full of geese and nests and eggs and uh i kind of wanted to show this to you right now because i will be back when they start laying and I'll get some video of the difference between this area right now and the area when uh, the geese show up and this uh, this creek will be thawed out for the most part and it'll be extremely active last year I was here it was just it was phenomenally crazy the amount of geese and the massive amount of geese eggs that were that were here and then I came back after they had gotten a little bit bigger and was out here watching them and it's just fantastic so this year I'm going to actually film it I didn't film it last year I wasn't really doing a whole lot for uh, for this channel last year at this time but uh, this year, I plan on uh, doing a lot more. So I wanted to show you this area now so you can see the way it is right now. And then uh, I'll do another another film in a month or so. I'll, I'll start coming out here because they start laying in March. March and April is when, they, uh, when they're laying. But uh, I'll come back out here when uh, when they're out here laying and, and you'll see the difference between what it looks like now and what it looks like when they're out here. Just do a little walk around here for a few minutes. Just show you the, the wonders of Indiana. Yeah, back in, I can't remember, I think it was in the 70s, maybe the 80s. Uh, Indiana had a slogan called Wander Indiana. So, yeah, this is, wow. Oh, this is cool. I don't know. See if I can get this up here. And... Huh. Oh, this is, this is nifty. This is something I didn't expect. This is kind of cool to to look at you know I think it is let's go on this other side here looks like something's been using this as its home that's kind of cool if anybody has any idea what the you know uh, I'm thinking maybe a, a chipmunk maybe I could be wrong, but uh, I don't know if I can see down in there. That's kind of cool. Anyway, if anybody has any ideas what, uh, you know, what could be doing that. Could be a chipmunk. Could even be a bird of some sort, but I don't know, right here. This looks like it's been gnawed on by like little rodent teeth. Could be mice. 
I don't really see, there's no tracks so it's not like something that's uh, been uh, been here recently but uh, let's see up here and uh, there's a squirrel nest right there those squirrels make these nests and those are kind of cool that's really high that, that's that's pretty far up there so anyway that was something kind of cool I think yeah. so we get out here a little bit and whoo sounded kind of like it was water under there here's another one look at this wow this ooh. I don't know if you can hear that, it's cracking. Here we go again. So something's up in there, eating away at it. It could be, maybe it's some kind of woodpecker. I don't know, that's just really cool. <laughs> that wood right there, it looks kind of spongy looking, doesn't it? That's pretty awesome looking. You know, it could be a woodpecker. I didn't even really think of that. Maybe it's some kind of woodpecker doing that. I don't think I can get up in there. Yeah. That would be kind of cool if we saw something moving around in there, wouldn't it? I don't know. So I'm thinking, you know, it may be a rodent of some sort. But uh, now I'm thinking it might be a woodpecker. So if anybody has any ideas, Feel free to throw them out there and kind of give me what you think it could be. Do you, do you guys have anything like this? Because usually when I see woodpecker holes, they're a lot smaller than that. You know, I don't, I don't really think I've really seen woodpeckers make holes that large, but I don't know. Anybody have any ideas? Throw them out and, and let me know what you guys think that could possibly be. I'm getting pretty close to the to the edge of the water. You can hear the snow cracking underneath me. I'm not 100% because this is marshy right here. This whole area is really, really marshy area when uh, when it's all thawed out and the water's flowing. I don't know if you can see those tracks right here and they move out out there and that right there is all covered with water generally and it's a, <clears throat> this whole area right here is really super marshy when uh, when it's all thawed out so uh, anyway we'll continue on and if I see anything else I'll turn the camera back on and we'll have another conversation thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting I appreciate everybody's support and uh, subscribing and sharing and commenting and uh, I hope that it continues. Thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful day and enjoy the outdoors.